Hello everybody, today I'm going to provide a quick demonstration of how Sheet Labs can be used in conjunction with Braze in order to enhance the functionality that's provided by Braze by default. So in our demonstration use case, what we're going to do is add a simple way of um, placing translations within um, Braze campaign templates. So what you can see on my screen here at the moment is a one or is one of Braze's standard templates. Uh, we have a, uh, a welcome message to a company. This is one of their campaigns. And this is just all of the default content. Our objective is to translate this email, or in fact, just this welcome message at the top into a language which is going to be user specific. So we'll have our users already imported into Braze and uh, we wish to um, uh, translate this message into different languages. So I'm going to show you how we can achieve that. So firstly, what we need to do is create a spreadsheet of our languages to, uh, to message mappings. So we're going to go to uh, Google Sheets and I have created one here earlier. Here is a simple translation spreadsheet. So we have a, a language column, which has EN for English and FR for French, and we have the different welcome messages. Our intention is to substitute these messages into this place. And Sheet Labs is going to help us do this. So let's hop over to Sheet Labs now. So this assumes you've already created a Sheet Labs account, and if not, you can register for one for free. Uh, once you've created it, we're going to import from import a new data table. You need to be on the data tables tab. Import a new data table from Google Sheets. I click this. Um, it's found all my um, spreadsheets on Google Sheets, and we're going to import the translations one. It'll take a second or so, um, and it will import, and we're done. So let's have a quick look to make sure it's done the right thing. We're going to click on translations, and yes, it's imported my Google Sheet for me. Um, there is also an option I just skipped over to automatically keep Google Sheets in sync with um, Sheet Labs as well, but we're not going to do that for the moment. Now we're going to create a simple API on top of this. So we're going to click Create API, we're going to pick Translations, we're going to call the API Translations as well. We're going to allow access from anyone on the internet without authentication for this demo, and we're going to um, require that people enter um, a, a language as a parameter. And you'll see what this means in a minute. So we're going to hit go, and our API is created. Now we can have a look at the documentation for our API, which is here, uh, which gives us the URL for the API and how we can interact with it. So I'm just going to copy this um, example here, and we're going to put in the URL for the API, and we're going to put in EN for English, which is one of the fields I had, and there we go. Again, uh, welcome to Cheat Labs. We can change this to FR and we are um, behind the view, Cheat Labs. So what we now need to do is um, use Braze's connected content feature to hook these two things up. So I'm going to copy some code I prepared earlier. I'm going to go back to my Braze template and I am going to create some new lines up here. So I've entered a connected content um, uh, element here, and we're going to use the language which comes from the user object, and we're going to save this into a translations variable. Now we're going to um, uh, replace our welcome message, uh, which is defined around here somewhere. Welcome to company, and we're going to replace this with our translations message. Um, and that is pretty much it. When we now send this, um, uh, when we now send this campaign, uh, Braze will fetch this um, uh, connected content, um, and then automatically sub and pass in the the user's language at this point. Um, so as long as you have language, the language um, attribute defined on the user set to EN or FR, then it will pull the language from Sheet Labs and will substitute in the welcome message here, and we are done.